Hi folks, welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to be unboxing and testing out this brand new 10 inch drill press. I needed one for my next project like ASAP and I looked online and I thought I was going to be able to find a used drill press but people were just asking a lot of money for the rusty old drill presses so I just decided to get me a new one. Some of you suggested that I should buy me one but I was kind of hesitant to get one because I was limited on space and I finally decided to get me one. This one is a very small size drill press. I guess I'll be able to put it away somewhere where it won't be in the way and stuff. So let's unbox it and see what, what this thing can do. All right, so let's see what we got here. There is some assembly required, but the main part, like the head assembly, looks like it's already been pre-assembled at the factory. In order to assemble this drill press you'll need some hand tools like rubber mallet, screwdriver and some wrenches. Attach the main column to the base with hex bolts. I've used half inch combination wrench to tighten the bolts. Take the worm gear and insert it into the slot of the table assembly. Table assembly's got a small gear on the inside that when you crank the handle it'll make it go up and down. Now take the depth gauge with arrow pointing up and you insert it into a table assembly. And then just slide everything on the main column. Secure the gear rack in place with column collar. Use Allen wrenches provided with the drill press to tighten the set screw. Attach the table adjustment handle to the D-shaft. Screw in table lock handle. Now this table assembly is ready to be used, but we're not done yet. We still need to attach the head assembly. And slide that puppy into place. Tighten the set screw with provided hex key. Here's where the chuck key goes so you won't lose it. Screw in the feed handles. And the last thing that we need to attach is the chuck. When you open up this plastic cover you'll find your belt assembly as well as your drill speed and belt pulley position chart. Alright, so this thing is ready to be used, so let's test it out. Here's the cool part. And here's another cool thing, you get the LED light. Alright, so let's test it again. Awesome. That was effortless. Maybe I should do some metal or something. Now I have this old piece of metal that I want to try it on. Let's see how well this thing drills.
nice. That was effortless too. Perfect. Nice. That's better than drilling by hand. That's for sure. That's it for this video. All in all, it was a great purchase. I only paid 129 bucks for this thing. It was very easy to put together, very simple to use, and I hope it lasts me a very long time. If you have any constructive criticism, or I just maybe forgot to mention something, feel free to leave me some comments down below, because I always look forward to reading your comments. So I want to thank you all for watching, and have a great day.